Superman and the Authority issue two. I didn't want to read this. <laughs> so I looked at the preview pages and went, you know what? I don't need this in my life. I, I got worried when I looked at the front page. Like, not the front page, mm-hmm. the front cover. Mm-hmm. And saw the list of names. I was like, uh-oh. There's like that's, four artists, yeah. That, that's a lot of names on that front cover. Yeah. And, uh, but there's a reason for it. So... Yeah. There is. And it is, is, a, is, is an oversized Wait. book as well, so I just was like, you know what, I'm good. But Matt read this, Connor, and Connor read yeah, this. Connor, did you read it? I read half of it, and okay. then I flicked through the back half, uh, but I would not say I read it. I, thought, I, wasn't... I, looked, I glanced at the pages. I wasn't <laughs> going to keep reading this, but then my shop gave it to me, because I, it's Superman, mm-hmm. and I ended up buying it anyways, and so I was like, well, I might as well read it. And um, I, I don't understand the point of this book. Like, I, I know we can, you know, hypothesize 5G remnants and whatnot. I, I don't get what the point is, especially when there's only two issues left. Setting up some stuff that's actually going to come up in continuity, I guess. I, I would say more accurately, they already paid Morrison and co. to make this book. So they thought they might as well try and get some money from it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, all four I of these guess... issues were ready to go. Like they were done, completed. But just they, they might just the way out. that it's paced, it just I don't, I don't know. So this issue, so the first issue we had, you know, Superman, you know, philosophically facing off with Manchester Black, right? Like in this, we get three basically short stories within this story of them putting together the authority. Um, and so in each, each story has a different artist. So you have, you have one with Natasha irons with, I guess we'll call her steel, right? What, what's yep. her. Uh, I, I'm assuming she's just taking the mantle of steel. Yeah. Right. Um, and then, and then we have another one, which is Apollo and Midnighter. Uh, and then the last one is Enchantress, um, which I do say that one was, was on its own. That one felt, almost like a like a story that would have showed up in like an annual or something. Uh, the other two, I don't feel really stood alone that much. Um, the, uh, the moment I tapped out was the end of the, um, the, the Steel story. Yeah, so this is the Morrison I don't like where he gets too meta for his own good. All right, so... He, he, it's, it's, this isn't meta. This is... Um, it's a similar thing to what we were talking about with Azarello, with bringing in real world concepts and being yes. too literal. Yeah. Um, I so guess, this is I guess kind of that. Meta. So we have we have Superman talking to Manchester Black about this team that he's going to assemble because whatever happened to the Justice League, we still don't really know. It's just not good. We did get a real fun page with uh, Superman working out to show that yes, he's not Superman that we know, but he still is, you know, not a mere mortal, right? So I thought that was done. That was a fun, also, I think, throwback to Morrison's All-Star, right, where he was gauging his power levels and whatnot. Yeah. So that was, that was cool. But yeah, so we get the Natasha Iron story where the basically the internet is given form through these nanobots, right? They're called something like nanobots. Palmer, of course. Yeah. And it's just like, like Connor just said, it's very literal. So like the bad, worst parts of the internet start coming to life which then it becomes trolls, and then from trolls it becomes edge lords, and they're just saying yeah. the worst stuff they can to Natasha. Which, you know, the, the first part was it was it was trolls, and in both sense of the words, the mm-hmm. traditional you know fantasy creatures, right? But the things where they were saying are things you know right. internet trolls would say. Yes. So she's fine then... them, and then, and then these things show up, and they're like, "Behold, edge lords eternal." I was like, right, okay, I'm done. Yeah, that's basically where I, I, I was like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going. Um, because yeah, it's Superman, and I already bought it. So why, why not, right? And, and then, you know, we get to the Apollo and Midnighter story, just to, to, to move this along. And it's basically Apollo thinking that Midnighter cheated on him because he found matches with him, and neither of them smoked. So he's, you know, it shows that Apollo definitely is way more insecure uh, and that he goes, oh, I would, you know, by the end of it, they're taking down right a, a terrorist cell. And, um, you know, he's, oh, I would never cheat on you. You know, I, in fact, I got you an anniversary present. 
And it, the anniversary present ends up him being on the team of Superman, who Apollo really looks up to. Um, and in that introduction, it's Manchester Black talking about those two operating with the original authority, uh, with yeah. some of the names that this I recognize. This is where it got more traditionally Morrison yes. matter. Like that, talking about the authority, um, Apollo talking about how you know he was inspired by Superman. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know th- those sorts of things. Yeah, uh, that, that's the, the the level I, I like. But mm-hmm. again, I, I was just like, yeah, I don't care about Apollo. I was kind of just skim reading yeah. at this point. Yeah. Um. So so you know they they meet and then we get to the last one with Enchantress and this is the um, oh the face blob. Yes. Um. So basically, we we get to the point where she's basically having an inner dialogue against herself. And her different personalities, and um, they're they're appearing, uh, you know, to to June Moon, which is her alter ego, as different like different scenarios. Basically, that one version's trying to sacrifice the other one to this ancient god called Dizamor of the Purple Plateau, and you know she's at the hilltop, which is supposed to be. Um, uh, it's supposed to be like a hospital, but then it appears as an asylum, and then uh, it, we end up. Oh, man, this is where it's hard to go. It jumps from the art, which I think is, is it more. Hold on, I have to go back to the to the title page. Uh, Foreman, I guess. This yeah, one? travel Foreman. There we go. It, it gets to to Foreman art, which you know can get pretty ghastly and. You get that blobby face guy that's appearing to her. And this, up... this was the most striking artistically because it was very yeah. clean and smooth. Mm-hmm. And then all the it was m- almost all greens. And greens then and just, reds. Well, it was almost all greens except one thing that was red and like that mm-hmm. and what that showed. And it just stood right. out a lot. Right. Uh, but as the issue gets going, the, the more the red peers in, and that's where you get something's up. And then it gets to Hilltop Asylum in. Uh, it it switches over to the Janet art, right? Where Superman and the well, I guess the Authority now come in to save her. It's Apollo Midnight or Superman Steel um, to save her from whatever's attacking her, uh, which apparently is in her mind. So I don't know if it's supposed to be this Dark God or whatever. Big face is a blob. Weird character. Yeah. This is why I was not really real. I was like, there's a big face blob. Yeah. What? So. And then that, that's where it ends, where, you know, this is apparently the team where it says next Superman and the Authority in hell. No, 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 um, no, Matt. It does not say that. It says Superman and the Authority in hell. That's how it says it. So, what are those? Yeah, again, I don't know why this book's here besides why not. So, like, <laughs> I, I, I know, I know there's the, you know, stuff might play into it coming up in action and whatnot, but I still, it's just weird. It is a strange book that, I don't, I won't be picking up issue three of clearly. Yeah, I mean, unless my shop didn't listen to me and they throw it in again, I, I <laughs> might not either. Because now, now we have two out of the four, so like uh, it's yeah. half. Uh, yeah, so, nearly there, man. Uh, yeah, but I mean, the art. It's so I don't want to say it's I, up and down because they're all consistent. Like, yeah, I don't not, think any of them are bad. No. Uh, some are more to my taste than others, but it's inconsistent yeah. in the issue. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. So. I'm going to give this a, a 6.5. Just, you know. Yeah. I, again, I don't know why this book exists. Well, there's a lot of books starting over the next few months, so, I mean, it's mm-hmm. nice to be filming some of the... Yeah? The, 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 you know, the, the stuff that doesn't need to be there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm okay with that.